Hello Titan, so in this video I'll show you how to generate an XML file using the form Titan XML integration. So what we have here, let me show you my um, XML template. So we have a breakfast, breakfast menu and a food item which has the properties of name, price, description, and calories. All right, so I want to generate a file from what I get as an input on my form. So we have here a section. Um, let's take a look at the name of the section. Um, let's call this food section and then we have name price description calories just like we have on our um, XML template what we're going to do next is head over to our integration and click edit click on the XML select our template which in my case is node.xml and I'm going to start mapping the the information here so the first thing is select a section for food so that's the food section second thing is the name which this is then a text box element that i have on my form price is, will go to the price um, element and description to description which is the text area and calories to calories on my form and that's done that's it now let me show you what it does so let's fill up some, uh, we'll do blah, and price will be five, and description, some description, and calories will be, um, let's do 44. And we'll add another one, this is a repeated section. So this will be some description too, and the name will be some other food. Uh, price will be 55 and let's set the calories at 77 and you can add as, as many more as you like again this is a repeated section and I'll hit submit now watch what will happen so I'm going to get an email let me just refresh my email here I'm gonna get an email from Titan with my XML um, attached since I selected send form to owner on the settings if I look at my XML I can see I have a food name blah and then I have another uh, food name some other food and the price and the calories all in there and now um, you can also for instance send this to Salesforce for example you would create a Salesforce we'll head over to Salesforce integration create a new push let's say we want to push a uh, an attachment and that will be just to create let's map some fields and the parent ID I'm just gonna do let's say a random opportunity just to show you how this works so I'm just gonna select let's take this guy I'm gonna grab the ID of this um, opportunity map it over here file name will be also something static this can be completely dynamic um, menu the XML and we will have the body as the XML mapping hit apply and save now let's do this again so we'll do test and description and calories will be 55 and we'll add another one and some other description and I'll submit now I'll head over to my integration logs just to grab the attachment and I'll click on the attachment that was created and if I'll view the file here it is I'm gonna click on it and there we have it and this is how it's done 